Thank you, Mari. Welcome in. Yes, you are first today. Good job. Are you trying to win over the boss or something? <laughs> Welcome in. surprised if it's a Mario Kart 9 I'm literally gonna do something crazy hi Aker welcome in hi vengeance welcome in guys if you've seen a no spoilers spoilers I'm not a beginning is 10 year ban I will manually type in 10 years when I'm banning you well, welcome in everybody I was looking at the timestamp. Okay, I didn't see the actual timestamps for the video, but apparently this direct, the actual video is like 40 minutes long. Hi, go, Bobo, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Oh my god, I spelled live wrong. Fuck me, dude. Am I go live tweet? I'm gonna be so mad. Jeez. I'm so annoyed at myself. But I wish there would be like autocorrect or a spell check whenever you type in caps. For some reason, it never does. I'm surprised you did not watch it live. I cannot resist the urge. Dude, I haven't. I've only gone on social media to post my clips. I didn't look in my posting feeds. I didn't see what my the people I follow posted. I am like, I haven't gotten spoiled at all. The only thing is I forgot that the direct was, I'll turn face cam on guys, face cam on. I forgot that the direct was happening today. So when I opened Twitch in the morning, cause like sometimes I'll watch like NMP in the morning and he was watching the direct. So I was like, fuck. So I instantly clicked off. Because like whenever I watch Twitch in the morning, I watch it muted. That way like, I, I don't know, I just like, I like reading the chat for a little bit and then leaving the stream. I don't know, I'm weird. Um, hello everybody, welcome in. We had Kobobo Hacker, Vengeance, and Kimori in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. Today's a special day. New Nintendo Direct, 40 minutes long. Apparently it's about the games that are coming out this winter or Christmas. So, parents, now you know what to buy. I don't- I haven't seen any spoilers, I haven't seen shit! So this is fully blind react. I also have orange juice. I'm trying to be healthy, guys. Oh my god, you're live? Stop, don't make fun of my tweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the UK way of spelling, okay? We're gonna stall another minute. Um, before we get started, guys, check the pinned message in chat. I have a new YouTube video out! Um, I can't stop playing until I get first. Go watch it, go like it, go leave a comment. You can also subscribe. I have two channels, youtube.com slash at peace in 17, and then peace in 17 clips. Make sure you're subscribed, okay? We need more YouTube frogs. Orange juice is not enjoyable to drink. I think you just have a little baby palate still. It's delicious. And I got one that has like that's been like artificially pumped with vitamins so it's extra good so i don't have to take my gummies anymore okay stop the music it is direct time pulp free i love orange juice with pulp it's just it was like a dollar more and it wasn't in the budget who's ready okay let's do a prediction Wait, if you've seen it? <laughs> um, if you've seen the direct already, don't gamble. We do this every time. 
Everybody gamble. Do you think Mario Kart 9 will be in this direct? It could be. It could be. This seems like the year for Mario. I don't know. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's not ever happening. Why is the prediction here? What the fuck? Huh? Why is that here? I hate that. Okay, YouTube time, everybody. It is time for the Fall 2023 Nintendo Direct. I had no idea this was happening until I saw on Twitter. And, like, all the replies to the Nintendo Direct tweet was like, Tamagotchi Life, please! I'm rated M for mature. Holy moly. Wait. No guy? We don't have a announcer today? Any splatters and shit? <laughs> Wait, lore? Yo, I played Splatoon once for the two hours and I never played it again. The music doesn't like match the vibe at all. <laughs> like, why are they playing like the actual in-game music? It's weird to me. Holy! Sick of me! Why are they showing like the voices and shit? This is so off putting. It's been almost two minutes and I'm fucking bored. Can, can I just skip? Okay, DLC is sold separately. Who's gonna buy it? Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. Wait, okay, so it's just like story mode. I, I thought the Splatters didn't like story mode. ...release in spring 2024, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Wait, what is this? Back in town. Donkey Kong. Mario. Here we go! The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. With his eyes on the prize, Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. And it's up to Mario to track him down. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. Observation and action are vital to your success. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross oh, the Oh, I would hate this. I'm hmm. so bad at puzzles. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't hmm. it? If Mario does this, now he can get across and safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip, like that. 
observe and act to collect you know, mini Mario's. I play like games to work my fingers, not my brain. Head on. I can see like this is good for kids that so we make them work their brain a little the bit game, during summer you can vacation. Play with a friend in local co-op. However you choose to oh, puzzle your way through, out. it's up to you to recover the toys. Mario versus Donkey Kong. Wait, so Launches in this Nintendo Switch, February in this game is Donkey Kong like the Grinch? 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Save the prince and the world. <laughs> Guide Sargon as he sets off to save the Prince of Persia and restore the world's balance. Tapping into the roots of the Prince of Persia series, this game features 2D side-scrolling action-adventure gameplay. Dash through breathtaking environments in a mythological Persian-inspired world, but don't linger too long if you hope to survive. Harness sword and bow techniques, as well as time powers to best these hostile lands. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited though, so choose wisely. Use everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Malkath. When Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, launches on the Nintendo Switch system January 18th, you can receive the in-game Warrior Within outfit by pre-ordering the game from Nintendo eShop. These games will help you chase your passions. Rev up for true <laughs> arcade racing in Horizon <laughs> Chase 2. Speed through I want to be a race car driver. Each with its own dynamic Just like the new movie. Overtaking your What's rivals called? on the road. As Orlando the Bloom. Campaign to Gran Turismo. Vehicles, courses and more. <laughs> you can also upgrade your vehicle and style it to fit your high octane needs. Itching for more racing action? Up to four speedsters can put the pedal to the metal in couch co-op or online. Go full throttle in Horizon Chase 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Dude, it looks like a mobile game. Warm up for musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Time your button presses with the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. Up to four friends can battle it out in versus modes or jam together in local or online play. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. You know, Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo Switch. If my mom would have let me have Guitar Hero when I was little, I would have loved rhythm games so much more. <laughs> Oh my god! Anya Forger has a new assignment from school. Spy family! A photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class, then enjoy family time in the evenings. On days off, you can visit all sorts of exciting places, like the beach or an art museum, in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Mario's first <laughs> RPG adventure returns. I'm so excited for this one. The Super Mario RPG game is back with updated graphics. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three character triple move. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment with different combos. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. Raw swords, these huh? These powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy.
Set off for adventure with Mario and friends when Super Mario RPG launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 17th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Two months. Hey. Uh, uh. Look alive. We're almost there. <sighs> the Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers, she sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch, when another code, Recollection, launches January 19th. Pre oh wait, I need to begin. write down what I want to what I want to play. Hold. I want to play this one. This one is like soap drama esque, and I, I love story games. So another code, Jan 24. This one I like. And today on Nintendo eShop. Dad? Another Code Recollection includes two games, the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel which was never released in North America. Both games are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to playing them early next year. Next, please take a look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then... The Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch suddenly the made their grape. grand entrance and took center stage. Now, it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. The ribbon alone won't always cut it though. Nah. So let's do this. <laughs> Whoa, Peach transformed into Swordfighter Peach. By transforming, she can use fantastic show Dude, Every game abilities. is going woke Bend these off days. The sour bunch with sensational <laughs> sword play. Can Peach save this performance and its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become Detective Peach, investigate clues, and track down who done it. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into Patissier Peach and save it from a sugar crash. The Sour Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Okay, they're just Become spoiling Kung all the lore. Peach and take it back from these foul fiends. I feel like this is like many other rendering like everybody's peach fan art, like AU fan art that people make on like Tumblr and shit. But I kind of like it. It's fun. Just behind the curtain. 
The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach Showtime makes its debut on Nintendo Switch March 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay, this is not what I thought the Peach game would be at all. I thought it would just be, like, exploring the Mario Kingdom, but it, it's, it's like, kind of wacky. It does look pretty good, not gonna lie. Mainly because, like, I just want to experience it, because it seems a little bit silly. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. A new saga begins. A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. There are six heroes to choose from. A young man who fights with sentient puppets. A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. A crime-fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. And a king of darkness who was Hi, recently Wolfman. reawakened. We get some yos? Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. <laughs> they had to the add anime game for villains? Just because us in the States don't like it, foreigners? Or I guess in Japan they'd be um, citizens. But they eat this shit up! The choices you make can unlock it different looks nice. paths more than ever before seen in the not my type franchise. of franchise. Fight in timeline battles, turn-based combat in which turn hey, crack, order is crucial it. to victory. Everybody's busy, everybody has Use a life. special techniques Glad to control today, the order of actions. Or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle in your favor. Saga Emerald Beyond launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The Legendary Raider returns. The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. Dude, that's such like a drastic change. Lara Croft, you'll travel the world and face off against deadly foes and even deadlier legends. Climb, backflip, and swan dive through perilous quests spanning different countries and mythologies. Along I'll be honest. The only thing I knew about Laura Croft is Angelina Jolie playing her. Didn't they make a movie or some shit? That, that's literally all I know. I never played the games. The way you'll solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries lost to the ravages of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Every great detective starts their day early. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu and his partner Tim investigate various cases while is searching that... for Harry. What? Is that like a flashback scene? Or is that like a f an unfinished render? What is that? <laughs> various cases <laughs> while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Okay, it must have been flashbacks. Tim that was the missing people. father. Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. Follow Sense with Growlithe. Smash Rocks with Darmanitan. And peer through walls with Luxray. Can Tim and Pikachu solve all the mysteries and find Harry? 
If Luxor is your favorite Pokemon, I think you're just self-reporting. Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Oh wait, returns. October 6th? Launches on Nintendo Switch I have a October doctor's appointment that day. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Sad. I'll definitely play that for stream. This game's a real <laughs> toot. <laughs> Raise your brass for the quirky rhythm game, Trombone Champ. I think Play it's hilarious. Time with the music. And I think it's so funny how, like, Germa and Northern Line will just, like, make game metas on Twitch and they'll just play, like, the silliest shit. This was the meta, like, a few months ago. Hi, Keelan. Welcome in. Hi, Keelan. As best you can. I will not play this. Play I refuse. to you. This will have to be a sub goal streak. I ain't playing you this like voluntarily. Controls to adjust the pitch up and down. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique. And mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres, from classical to electronica and everything in between. Plus, up to four musicians can band together in local multiplayer. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> Trombone champ slides onto Nintendo. Okay, maybe Switch I'll play it later today. Not voluntarily though. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. We got Fortnite. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow or shove them off the collapsing terrain to win. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Work with your allies to be the last team standing. Battle Crush is free to play and launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next spring. A closed beta test will be available this October. Not gonna lie, that's kind of fun. To fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, equip your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Run and gun in this reimagining of the beloved NES classic, Contra. Blast through explosive stages with a devastating arsenal of weapons to crush the Red Falcon forces. Spring into action with easy pickup and play See, controls. See, I, I just think nothing will top Mario Kart options. for me. This reimagining from Konami I think and it's because I don't know what type of game I new like. Weapons, enemies, powerful super attacks, and a four-player co-op mode. Contra, Operation Galuga, storms onto the Nintendo Switch system early next year. Liberate your kingdom. Reclaim your destiny. Tis a grievous tale which speaks of Fevrith, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again, ring of legend lighting his path. That is the ring of the unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it I will, Mother. Freely traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies, forge your bonds, and lead the liberation to glorious victory. Cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique characters, from humans and elves to massive beasts. Okay, this seems like the most intriguing angels. RPG in my opinion. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, 
or even years. But I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Atlas and Vanillaware present the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> Available March 8th, 2024. <laughs> the name! <laughs> Monster House? Okay. Mansion 2 HD. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. Time for some mansion mayhem. No spooky adventure is complete without this. So, so this is just like remastered, right? Vacuum-like device, the Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball, then vacuum them up. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting. I think if it was a new a title, then they would have like lab. Luigi's Mansion would have had its own like title card in the video. A broken down clock. I've never played a Luigi's Mansion. I'm sorry, a I don't mine know. Covered in ice and snow, and even more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer modes. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. How was that? Next, we have two announcements to share. <gasps> Mario Kart 9! First, please take a look at this video. What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. Okay, my sister wants to plan a Japan trip for me in 26. Guys, should I do a... I will go to the Nintendo Museum. We'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. Please stay tuned. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. The Zelda and Ganondorf Amiibo figures are releasing on November 3rd. And Amiibo figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will be released as a set on January 19th, 2024. And finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Minecraft. Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. Or With Creeper, the release of I can't Sora, remember the name. Everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. That's all for today's amiibo announcement. Oh my god, the Next, please take a look. <laughs> all for today. <laughs> look at this. Mario Kart. The first F-Zero game returns as a 99-player battle royale. Wait, this is just like the Mario level. 99. 
race on classic F-Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. None of your stores Care locally sell high Amiibos? Speed races. But be Dude, that careful. sucks. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots All or All my rails. local game stuff are zero, filled to the brim of Amiibos. You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay and in the Funko race. And Funko Pops. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. You can also collect <laughs> Super Spark. I've never played this game. I only know the Mario Kart level. <laughs> which appear when machines collide to boost up to a special The music sounds similar the too. It's your Why best you chance Mario at Kart? your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. Ninety-nine players, one winner. It's time to race <laughs> your way to first place. Because F Zero Ninety Nine will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch Online members later today. More than 30 years after its original release, F-Zero is back as a battle royale game. This title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. One little hero, one humongous problem. It, <laughs> sorry. The, this this illustration looks like a Flash game you'd see on like the Disney website ten years ago. Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical oh, land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further go, by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Nintendo's only showing up Vandal for Millie's RPG and game. And what mysteries will you discover during Some your slay. magical We're adventure? We're getting Mario this year. Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story. Okay, this one I might like. Vandal Tale 2024 Launches on Nintendo Switch next year Wait, did you hear that? Join best friends Nunu and Willem on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord Jump Climb And sled your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story, launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 1st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Let's move into formation. Play with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Ah. Welcome to the island. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. In each micro game, you'll get into a specific pose called a form. Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand model. <laughs> the micro games will come Sorry. one after another. I can so picture people alive. doing like <laughs> the middle finger. <laughs> Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Freeze. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty. 
everyone's in for a wacky time. WarioWare Move It launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. I think this is like the most interesting WarioWare game. are available now on Nintendo eShop. I don't think I've played still because I don't like to play. I've had more friends than yet. Soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. Meet Noah, a humble... Um, new challenge. Take a shot every time they show an RPG. Villager. <laughs> Sane, an officer from the Empire. And Marissa, a forest guardian. These three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. This is your home base, known as the Headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend crops, open shops, and more. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust, betrayal, justice, and truth. A heroic tale will begin when Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on oh my Nintendo God, Switch for my April birthday. 23rd. Participate in some pixel perfect play. Next no way! Stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming oh my God. world in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock, whip up culinary delights for your neighbors, and restore buildings to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward Octopia ventures onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. No, tell me when. Oh my god. I Eastward is my favorite game of all time. It's not a sequel, but DLC. Oh my god. Okay, because like the game's been out for years. The ending was fine, but it left a lot. You could assume what happened. And okay. Okay, Easter deal. My day is made. Oh my god. If you haven't played the game, it's a pixel, I guess, RPG. Very good story. Uh, Easter DLC sometime by the end of the year. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get back into the groove. In this sequel to War Group, I do think Eastward is like the prettiest pixel game I've ever seen, too. With factions, including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's group to unleash devastating also, attacks. Also, <laughs> I would like to say I was not farming. I was genuinely so happy when I saw it. Lead oh a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Battle friends locally or online. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Of all the voice lines. Okay, everybody's been playing Dave the Diver. Then serve them as sushi by night and the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. I couldn't play because it's only on Steam. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes oh, wait, maybe it's and on create Switch. the day's menu. I don't know. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore I remember Jeremy played it and then literally everybody else is playing to it. To find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre okay, that, that's why I couldn't play. It was only on Steam. Okay, so Dave the Diver. They said October 26th. Here's in a free demo. Swim onto Nintendo eShop later today. I, I will play Dave the Diver. The final wave okay. is great. Okay, oh, oh, I'm skipping. I'm skipping. Okay, when is it? He can also be purchased. 
members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Okay, what? Somebody tell me, did it say the date? Somebody tell me. S somebody go back in the video and, well, or t tell me what date it's coming out. Holiday? Stop. Fuck! I hate when they do that shit. I I'm skipping it because I, I want to be surprised. I love Mario Kart. And it's going to be the final wave. Holiday 23? That's so dumb. Just tell us, us the date. It's probably going to be like December 24th. Oh, buggers? It only showed one track. No spoilers. This new map okay, for Among Us is a pretty free good name. and launches this October. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September March. Let's take a look. I'm so excited for Wonder. It looks so good. October 20th. Do that. Damn it. They're so mean for doing that. Yeah, the only thing I saw was Diddy Kong. God fuck we me. hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. This next video will be our last announcement. Mario Kart 9. Mario Kart 9. Mario Kart 9. Oh, he didn't snap. Galaxy?
2024. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Whether it does you play look the beautiful though. Or have yet to play it, we hope you look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Okay. I think pretty solid. Yeah. Pretty solid. Like nothing nothing insane, nothing like crazy crazy. Let's see. What did I write down? I wrote down another code which was the Oh, my dad's missing. Peach game, Detective Pikachu, Trombone Champ, maybe. Bandle Tail? Eastward DLC? And Dave the Diver. Dude. I, I would say kind of mid, but the Eastward DLC, holy fuck. I'm so excited for that shit. Oh my god. Because, like, when I played Eastward for the first time, I wish there was more to it, like more base building, and it seems like that's what the DLC is gonna be. I'm so excited. I am very sad that it did get spoiled for a little bit of the Mario Kart wave. That's an L. It's my part. I didn't click away fast enough. That was good. That was good. I think pretty solid. I mean, the, the only things I guess I wrote down were things that I anticipated were going to come out. I know I play that I I know that I play like both larger title and more niche titles, but I am really glad that Day of the Diver is being ported though, because I would. I wanted to try that out on my own, but I don't want to play games on my computer yet. You know, I want to treat my laptop as, like, work. So, yeah. I would say... Let's direct 7 out of 10. A lot of RPGs, but I feel like that's normal. Pretty decent, though. I'm happy with it. Oh, the Eastward... Oh, I don't want to look up about the DLC now. Let's see. Let's see, Eastward DLC. Wait. Okay, one one article said holiday season twenty four, and then another article says holiday twenty three. Am I gonna play Luigi's Mansion? Oh, uh, you might cancel me, but probably not. Okay, so the Easter DLC is kind of like a, a, a farming sim edition and base building. And then you build up the abandoned town into, um, into a city. DLC is separate from the main game, and it adds about 20 hours of content. Okay, not bad. My assumption is that it's gonna be like 10 bucks. I'm so excited. Okay. So, everybody. Let's play some games. Now, the game I have lined up for today is a game called Spirit Fair. Now, this is something that some of y'all have been requesting for a hot minute. Apparently, this is a game about death. Because I think the premise is that you, the main character, are someone who um, brings people to the afterlife. So you get to meet cool little characters. You learn their story, you build your base, which I think is a boat. So, I'm gonna adjust audio real quick. And while I do that, guys, 
We are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99. Just kidding, it is September. So all new tier 1s and multi-month recurring subs are discounted this month, guys. Also, Prime subs are still available, so click subscribe. See if you have a discount or a Prime sub available. Smile. I also have to use the restroom real quick. No, I have to grab water, not use the restroom. So, I will be right back. to verify that TTS works. Okay. TTS works. Also, I'm going to make sure that audio is synced. Everything is a-okay. Let's double check this. Oh, you know why? It's because I was using my headphones earlier. Yeah, max audio buffering. Okay, okay. Yeah, so guys, be mindful of the audio whenever I play the game. If it desyncs, please tell me. Because remember we were having issues before of whenever I use my headphones, it fucks up the capture cards. So I'll just have to double check audio every hour. And if you guys notice anything, tell me. Now have water. Oop, <laughs> oh, mega lol. Okay, guys, this is my new PNG tuber. It's back. Let's verify that the audio is still synced. Dude, I almost clicked stop streaming. <laughs> It's back, it's back. Okay. I promise not all my streams are a dumpster fire. menu screen changes throughout. It's really cute. I think I'm going to disable vibration first. 
wrong menu. Okay, now we can start. Oh, there's co-op? Okay. I mean, I don't think anybody would want to play with me. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that it would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. The Spirit Fair. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Stella. Oh, what, what is... Okay, pause. Hey guys. New PNG tuber. I'm going to lose my mind. Okay, everything's good now, don't worry. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden, then, and take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I'll be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the next spirit fairy. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here. There is something I need to give you. Now be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Wait. What are you... Oh, how highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. 
will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. I love how expressive the 2D sequences are. I I'm a sucker. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed at first too. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. Jordan Sparks, 2010. <laughs> you will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit fairs, after all. Oh. One last thing. Once I am gone, you'll have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you. And it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not far too far from here. If you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella. And good luck. You- <coughs> Doing that voice like makes it feel like I'm at the frog in my throat. Okay, I'm good. Editor, cut this out. <laughs> so long, Stella. And good luck. You will need it. How the cat is just clinging on to me. Oh, we're here. Press B to jump, hold B to jump higher. Oh, okay. Hold up while jumping to climb through platforms. Hold down and B to jump up. Oh. Reset! Okay, I don't have to hold it. I just have to press them at the same time. Stella, it really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look good look at you. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, oh. I see. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Ah, it might not be that obvious after mm -hmm. all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. Oh. But if you're here, it means... Oh, you are the new spirit, mm -hmm. Fair. You are the one replacing Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off of sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm -hmm. Of course. See that boat over there? That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it'll work, since you're the spirit bearer. Okay, meet me on the deck mm -hmm. over there. I'll explain it all. I love how expressive the 2D models are. I feel like my character is still 3D, because like the lighting, you can still tell the way it moves. It's not like... Because to me, 2D animation looks a bit more choppy, and 3D looks a bit too fluid. But I think the cat is definitely still 
2D, maybe. I'm in. I think I want to change my title real quick. I'm the new and improved Grim Reaper. <laughs> Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. And as you're the spirit fair, welcome stray spirits as your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Okay, I can give them gifts. I can feed them, talk, hug. Oh, you asked for it. Why are you so surprised? <laughs> Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at all this chaos. Oh no. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just the cat playing the whole time. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm looking at. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your mm -hmm. boat. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all of this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go, open up that cabin, mm -hmm. Stella. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Okay, seems pretty simple enough. I do think it's really cute how whenever you're talking to the side characters, like, your main model is, like, still expressing and emoting. Understand the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by mm. myself. You must admit it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Sharon, the Everdor, the Spirit Fair is this place, this vote. Me being here, it's a lot. You must be wondering what is going mm. on. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster.
I like this game already. I love story. Individually, it's really interesting. Easy! Okay, how do I- how do I get out? Oh, I press Y. Okay, for some reason B, like the back button, is Y in this game. Here we are. Albert Shipyard discovered. Mm. Now, head down to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Mm -hmm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Okay, that's how I get back on board. <laughs> oh, there's a boat right here. Oh my god. Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are my customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you're the new spirit fair? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble expertise. <laughs> Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago in sort of my old ship yard. See? Charon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer is always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. Now let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction air. Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> anyway. With a little bit of love, this bird will be re resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper bluebird table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at a small price. You'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler, where my prices are a customer's best friend. So, what do you need? Okay. I have no money. Okay, beginner blueprint is free. Next upgrade is 400. Oh, then you can upgrade the the dinghy. Okay. <laughs> You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back whenever you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. Okay, got it, boss. Oop! 
<laughs> I fell in the water again. <laughs> Finally. Good. Albert gave it to you for free. And he said he loaned the ship to you? Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here. What'd she say? I forgot. Oh, cute. Yeah, I have work to do. Oh, look at your blueprint station above your cabin. go like this. Just toss it off deck. Oh, wait, I think she said I could salvage it, right? Okay, salvage a building. Are you sure you want to salvage this building? You'll get back the following resources. Log, bottles, shoes, and carpet. Yeah, trash it all. Hey. Wonderful. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Okay, build the guest house with the blueprint table. We can build crops to our field. A garden. Guest house. Okay, so you gather resources to build buildings on your boat with spirits. You can only build one of these. Okay. house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work, as usual. Now at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah. Huh. I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. That's not how you want me to go, is it? And as absurd as it sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in here. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. And there's only one way to get some. I... Look. I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence. Even, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all. Light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it is always a jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there is no other option. I'll have to face my fears. 
But you're here. With you, I can do it. It will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. Oh, okay, so only the... Let's give her a hug. Oh, sorry. I'm okay now. Fine. I'll leave then. A dark spot on the map. these resource islands are. We're gonna avoid the jellyfish for a bit. And it's on the way. Okay, so in the top left, there is a bar, I assume, that indicates how far away from you you are from the place. You got a bit of time. Should we do some fishing? Exit the whole time. I don't know, maybe. Oh, <laughs> um, I think we've arrived. Let's see what that noise was. Hopefully we won't be the next Titanic. Oh. Seems like we might find more spirits here. Something in the water. Dive. Okay. Got one limestone. Too dark to navigate. It'll possibly be good again at dawn. What's up, Stella? Mm -hmm. Huh. Yes. I forgot to tell you about mm -hmm. this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your ever light being, well, light. Or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you like. Tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop mm -hmm. your cabin. You wake up refreshed and ready to go. The ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that... You know, waking up on time has never been my mm -hmm. forte. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. 
<laughs> what if I just... <laughs> well, you see... Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They all look like classical mythical challenges again. A bit cliche if you ask me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. I thought you'd be mad. I was just farming a little bit of drama. Oh wait, can I not? Oh, I can't go on my dinghy at nighttime, I think. Damn. I'll do a bit of fishing. I don't need any sleep. As I do some fishing, guys, we are in another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, follow! You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Can we hit our daily goal? Smile. Another herring. I hope that we only have one passenger at a time. I think having to manage multiple people's stories will become overwhelming to me. It's kind of like whenever I have too many friends, like hearing about everybody's drama is just like... It's watching a soap opera that has like 20 main characters. I don't got enough memory space for all the drama. It's getting brighter. Okay, I, th I thought it was gonna be it only triggers the morning if you go to bed, but I guess I can like just work through the night. Sleep is for the weak, and I'm not weak. Cat is so cute. Can I get one? I want for I want one for Christmas this year. So bad. Guys, um I will get a cat if we hit 500 subs. Not even kidding. <laughs> Fine, I'll go to bed. Still not going to dinghy? Wait, the cat is walking on the water. It's rolling on the on the light bulb. Oh! I just pressed A when I went past the crate. Weird. was all that was here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well, she's got nothing to say. Okay, let's go get the jelly. Because it's on the way. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here, taking care of me in my final hours? You've always cared so damn much about mm. others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the mm. cat? We had just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was red. Okay. <laughs> nice. Mm. <laughs> Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with the bright mm. jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay mm. out there. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Okay, so I'm gonna cop some jellies. Damn, I missed one. Oops, don't wake up. Don't come out. the currency in game I think okay I'm gonna start farming but we're not even there yet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fantastic okay I am really impressed. You rocked out there. Mm -hmm. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. Mm -hmm. And you've even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently mm -hmm. waiting. Slowly gi digesting myself. Mm -hmm. Relax. You need to calm down with that bell. When you ring it at night, people will get up. Nobody likes to be woken mm -hmm. up. Especially me. Okay, I just wanted to see what would happen. I was farming. Let us build a kitchen. lovely kitchen. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be mm -hmm. cooked. You can even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around in my pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Dude, she's kind of a snob, but she's like super nice to me. I don't get it. Thank you. 
I can smell it. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. You need a, We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat almost anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here is something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an old bowl is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you know that already. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen, in your blueprint table there is both a field and a garden blueprint. Which means you can grow many different things. And turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. It's gonna be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it. Which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy some seeds to use in it. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove, and there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Okay, let's get the resources first since it's closer. dialogue. I love when there's so much like lore. Because if it's a game like an RPG where the dialogue doesn't really matter, I just like spam and skip through it. But for something like this where you get to learn a bit more about the actual character, I love it. I love seeing characters like open up over time. An old show! Like we've hit something, Captain. See, it's woolly. We didn't have to buy any, dude. Quartz. I love quartz. Since my birthday is in April, my gemstone is a literal diamond. So if anybody wants to be my BFF, just give me a diamond birthstone ring. Then you're in. You have a door. Is that a bus icon? Hmm. Mostan Cove. I love all the 2D elements so much. I like how the game is bright. Too many games nowadays are too dark and gloomy. They're too real.
Man, my cat could just not get enough of that ball. He's <laughs> playing all the time. Lopped over. Oh my god. Yeah, I think the cat is gonna be the best part of the game. Not even joking. Oh, we've arrived. Ooh. Look at that. Mostine Cove discovered. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Okay, so it seems I can only use the dinghy for like main places. go what a majestic tree well you can cut it down yes it's fine i promise it's the best way to get the wood you need actually but don't worry they will grow over time another interesting fact about the everlight Okay. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. And joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Ooh, berries. Ras Ooh, raspberries are my favorite. mini-game-esque mechanics. Like, the motion makes sense. Like, when you're sawing the tree, you move the direction of the left and right. as long as possible to break a mining node. To mine efficiently, release A as late as possible without failing. Okay, that's actually fun. <laughs> Not all. I guess so. Okay, so now I can build the field. Oh. 
Okay, okay. I gotta do some rearranging. I'm good. Mm. A field? Mm. Huh. It's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Mm. No, all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the fields, don't bother mm. trying. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. He set up a shop in Hummingbird, the busiest town in the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Incorporated, a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird, then. We'll need to find some seeds for that field. Okay, I found some seeds already. Okay, so one linen, one coffee, because she said she loves coffee, and one corn. Let's water them all, and then we can go to bed. Okay, I think I kind of hacked by going to the resource islands first, unknowingly. Let's go to bed and head for Hummingbird in the morning. You know what else could be considered a hack? Subscribing because guys we are two hours in the stream so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for 4 dollars Just kidding, it is September. So all tier one subs are discounted up to 25% off, guys. You can also link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for her prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a discount or a prime sub available after the ad. We're gonna keep playing. So if you want to see more Spirit Fair, subscribe. Also, if you're new, follow. Then you can type in chat. Okay, back to it. We're gonna go to Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Bird? Bird. But, but first, let's get some resources. I would love more seeds for free. I wonder if I just don't ring the bell, people will still wake up. I don't- you know, let them enjoy their last days in peace. If somebody wants to sleep all day, let them. Another old show.
We've arrived. Oh. Okay, it's nice that the field shows icons that you need to water it, because otherwise I would forget. This is why I don't have plants in real life, I would just kill them all. Not on purpose, of course. jellies, but we're gonna get more jelly. Just stay inside, don't worry. What's the worst that could happen? You get stung? Don't worry, we got medicine. I don't know if I would have liked this game nearly as much if it wasn't 3D. I think it's just because... Hmm. How do I say this? <laughs> I feel like to understand 3D, you have to understand 2D, and I feel like 2D is so hard to master. Because when you're working in 3D mediums, like, you have- there's, like, algorithms, there are pre-made renders and settings to make them look realistic. But with 2D, you have to do them all with hand. Uh oh. Jellyfish. Here they come again. Huh, I don't feel great. Go, I still have faith in you. I'll watch from inside. Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. Don't worry, I got you. I'll catch all of them. Once you have more buildings, you can easily climb between them all. <laughs> yeah, some of the jellies are way too high up. Now to our destination, Hummingbird. 
I purposely love avoiding the main story missions because I get so anxious thinking about missing something in a game. This is why I can never play like a zombie or any type of like third person resource management game. Because I would have to look in every single nook and cranny, every single secret, every little bullet. It's just the hoarder mindset, I guess. Which I do have. My grandma and my mom are hoarders. Not not super bad, but they're like kind of skirting the line. But like, I still have that little irk in me sometimes. I don't like throwing things away. But I've gotten better. If clothes don't fit, I donate it. If shoes are dirty, I will buy new ones and throw away the old ones. If my socks have holes in them, I throw them away. Because to me, if something is broken and you can't fix it, then it has no utility. So you should get a new one. I think we've arrived in Hummingburg. Hummingbird discovered. Hey. All right, hey. we're here. Let's buy some seeds. Okay, before we continue, I'm going to verify that the audio is synced. It's good. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up a shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it aloud. I might stumble on the rest of finds. Oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mary? Or Margaret? It's Missy. Wait, no. Esh. Don't tell me, it's... Oh, shoot. I'll get it. Someday. <laughs> well, my name does start with an M. So he was on the right track. Hmm. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the Mountain Gnome race, there is a nifty synergy with the level 3 rogue ability at... Ev... Evis... Eviscerate. Oh, ability. Eviscerate. It is for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20, an auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? Nerd. Hopefully, there's no standard ground laws here. A stroll a day keeps the doctor away, which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no. Why did I think about my health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I am not sick. I am okay. Okay, did. Oh, this is another Evergate. Oh. Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fairer in the Everlight. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you can use Obols to activate it. But to get Obols, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. Ooh. Oh. To get double jump, I need two ovals. Oh. I'm 
going home. Don't follow me. Please. Oh. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll oh. tell people. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. Mood. <laughs> oh. Sir, you live right here. <laughs> my favorite sport is being... Or my favorite spot is this bench at the end of the pier. It's beautiful and quite peaceful after a long day's work. Oh my. I shouldn't have told you if I wanted to keep it that way. Yeah, it's gonna become my new spot. Hey. Good. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Right off potential prospect, welcome to Raccoon Incorporated. We've been servicing Hummingbird since forever. You've got the glims, I've got the goods. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. Okay, I have 660 glims. $500,000 for a key? Holy moly. Oh, a 50 pack of seeds is 7k. I only got 600 bucks. What the? Dude, he's scamming. He's actually scamming. Everything. Okay, she was right. Everything is so expensive. What was that? Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Good. Let's do this. Theodore! I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash mm -hmm. panda. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. Mm -hmm. What? Mana, what is the meaning of this? Mm -hmm. My friend here is the new spirit fair. But she's not a newbie. And neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But, I, I can assure you my business practices are quite above or abo above overboard. <laughs> Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses, mm -hmm. just fair prices. Mm -hmm. I, I, mm -hmm. so stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Got it? But, yes, yes, of course. I promise you I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some help. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie, it is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'll have to be able to jump and humanely hide to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. You're Stella, if I recall correctly. I'll never forget a face, especially if they have shiny glooms. Don't be shy, have a look if you fancy. See, oh my god, he was charging literally... A hundred times more. He's crazy. I wish you would tell me how much I have in my inventory. I think the only thing I don't have is carrot seeds. Wait, a single seed? So that means he was selling a single seed for $7,000. Holy moly. Okay, I'm gonna buy like five of each that I don't have. Mm -hmm. 
A key for Hummingbird is only 5,000. <laughs> oh, he's so happy now. Even if he was trying to scam me. to sell a handful. I'm gonna keep five fish, because I don't think I'll need to cook that many. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. If you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. See if I can buy anything else. Wait, he's selling the herring for 30. How much did I sell it for? He's double marking the price. That scumbag. I'm leaving. Oh. I am busy, miss. Yes? Oh, I thought you had something to say. <laughs> I'm busy. Man, why is everybody so busy? Ooh. I simply adore your hat! Our local shop, Raccoon Incorporated, only carries garbage wares. Seeds, logs, rocks, Ooh. all useless items. I need a hat like yours. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched in the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Okay, he's Ooh. saying the same shit. I don't want to hear it. Nerd. I can go in this house. Okay, let's go back on the ship. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm in a bit of a rush. You're just standing on the pier. What do you what do you have to do? Let's go back home. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Since it's too dark apparently. We'll get more resources. I've never gone fishing in real life, and I don't have the desire to. Seems like too much time for not a lot in return. Oh, I think we made it. some coffee. 
Because she said she loves coffee. I don't know why we're making coffee in the oven. Look at the new trend. Oh. Hmm. Now this is one damn fine cup of coffee. I've had a, I've had I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, but this is certainly my favorite of them all. Thank you very, very much, Stella. We're in, boys. We're in. Okay, so for the seed mission, I have to talk to her. I can't yet. She's still only eating cutsy. Nice. Looks great. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon this boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit fair, and spirit fair is fine spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you like this one if he is who I think he is. Go. Let's sail. I think I'm just gonna plant as many seeds as I can. That way I have the final ingredients ready to go at any given time. Hmm. I'll get those resources another time. I assume we go here, but she didn't tell us where to go. Back to work, back to fishing. lemon cream pasta this morning and my hands still smell like lemons <laughs> smells good but it's all whenever i adjust my glasses or touch my face i'm like ooh, it smells like cleaner and no joke i think it was the best pasta i've ever made just simple um, lemon zest with cream, simmer it, and then you add butter, and then parm, and then it's done. So good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Take cover, everybody! Bottle this lightning. Oh, it's over. Okay. Easy. Yeah, 
Guess I'll get back to fishing. Back to work. Barkenshim Creek discovered. I think the saw is my favorite mechanic. It's so creative. Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I told you they smelled like lemons. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. Unless... It's just down there, in the water. I do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. So cute. He looks like a toad, because you can see a little ghost behind him. Also, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Can we get some yo's? Thank you. Time to go die. That's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could eat help. Maybe I could even help aboard your ship with cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have any spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. Yeah, just invite yourself on, bozo. <laughs> He was right, this island is out of food. Little does he know I have raspberries in my pocket. I'll be your favorite new passenger. Just you wait. Boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Is it her dad? It's me, Stella. Your uncle ought to. 
Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights of the sea with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I get you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is that a... <laughs> I love how he runs. I knew it. That's a Sea Master 2000. I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently, you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Well, Stella, you sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing on mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Thank you, Uncle Atul. Oh, the clouds. What? Is he scamming? Did he break my machine? God damn it, Uncle. Okay, when your line turns red, it's about to break. Oh, release A. Got it. Hi, Mac. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? What did I think of the direct? Um, watch the vlog. We're playing Spirit Bear. But it was good. A squid? Holy moly. Oh, he's so cute. Good job, Sprout. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That will make that's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up, which reminds me. I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it? For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way. You might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water it, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. I can't, I'm busy. Um, did you watch the direct already? I kind of spoiled myself on the Mario Kart DLC. Oops. But nobody will spoil the DLC, please. I only saw one spoiler. But I am very excited for the Peach game. Wouldn't you look at that? You've got two ovals. Remember that shrine in Hummingbird? I'll try and I'd try and add them mm -hmm. there. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Okay, I think I got I understand how this game works. Now I think I'm really gonna like it. Too dark to navigate at night. Ooh, drama? Well, well, well. <laughs> hey, uncle. You okay? Oh, they're sleeping. Cute. I'm gonna see if I can build another quarters. Because it seems kind of unfair that they have to share a couch. I can only have one. Hmm, peace I too? Hmm. Yeah, I can't build anything else. Oh, our tool's awake. I guess I'll go to bed. Since I can't do anything. 
Also, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Can we hit our daily goal? We already got one follower today. Yay! Now, we are on our way back to Hummingbird. No one there? Stop. Where is it? Over here. There's no like resource things on the way. And since we're going to Hummingburg, I need more money, so I'm gonna go to the jellyfish place first. Just to grind a little bit. You know, I don't like the upgrade he got me. It made it so much more difficult. Uncle Atul? More like Uncle Latul. The tool. <laughs> oh, that was mean. A soul. Yeah, go inside. Oh, no. <laughs> you go inside, not me. Here they come again. Oh, I don't feel great. Go. Oh, I still have faith in you. I'll watch them inside. worry. I shall protect everyone. Okay, I'm at just about the same height on both buildings. Come on! Maybe a strat is to purposely build buildings like on top of each other that way you can get more air but I can't even reach half of these come on okay I got one easy And it's over. Hey. I'll catch one fish and then we'll change course. Wicked, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Thank you for waiting to chat. I appreciate it. Welcome in. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Also, you should have some cool free emotes. Feel free to use them. I can call you Wheel or Wheelburn. I think Wheel will be easier for me. 
And if you have any pronouns, tell me as well. Oh wait, I said I'll catch one fish. No! Resources first, and then hummingbird. They, them, got it. Got it, boss. I forget. I've been seeing a good handful of TikToks being like, oh. Like people making sashimi from like frozen fish. And that to me is whack. Anytime I've tried to like thaw out fish, it always comes out bad. God, I almost had it. Like, if I'm gonna make frozen fish, I'm just gonna bake it frozen. I never let shit thaw anymore. Ooh, this one's a wild one. shrimp you're not too big a seafood person i used to not be as well it's because like my mom didn't cook it when i was younger the only fish she would make would be like fish sticks every once in a while so once we moved out i started making seafood more often fuck frick <laughs> so i try to make salmon like every other week because Fish and seafood, I think, is one of the healthier proteins you can have. Ooh, medium glim bottle. Hmm. Perfect sea trash. Quick, jump in the water. There's wreckage. I'm sure you'll find some helpful materials in there. Uncle, I already did it. I'm on it. I know what to do. I know how to run my own ship. Don't tell me what to do. Oh. Chaos. Dude, I was just here. That's annoying. It's the ocean taste that you don't like. Hmm. I think it's similar to like how some meats taste gamey, like oh, venison or I guess duck or rabbit. You just have to learn how- or you have to find good recipes and good restaurants that like know how to season. Usually a sauce will like fix any type of like sea flavor or gaminess in my opinion. Maybe you've just had, like, shit fish your whole life. Easy. Oh. Wait, 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 stop! Stop the boat! Aw, <laughs> oh, damn. It said if, if you fall off the boat, it'll stop, but I missed the bus stop. I wonder what that is. I guess we'll find out later. I have barnacles on my ship. I don't think I can get these off because it's like too
close to the edge of the ship. Yeah, I automatically climb up, that's why. Hmm, oh well. Is it a random thing? Like, on the map, it showed, like, literally a bus icon. So I assume it's, like, fast travel, but I'm still in, like, the tutorial stage of the game, so I don't want to, like, explore that too much, I guess. Because whenever- <laughs> whenever I do any game, I always go past the tutorial, like, I try and figure stuff out on my own. Like, earlier today, like, the mission was, oh, plant the crops in the field. And I did it before, like, the dialogue option told me to, and she was like, oh, it seems like you've already planted some seeds already, you're on it. Then I felt bad. Because, like, I was definitely the kid in school who would work ahead on, like, the lesson. So, like, imagine being in math class and you have, like, a three-page packet for the day. Like, as the teacher is talking about page one, I'm already working on page two, trying to figure it out on my own. I think it's because just the way I go through life, I like trying to figure out things on my own. Because I, I feel like that adds so much to my character. Like, I'd rather struggle a bit than being told what to do immediately. Yeah, we've arrived. Now I can unlock a double jump. Shrine. New ability, double jump. While in the air, press B again to double jump. I have two... Gobbles? No. <laughs> Orbles, I think they're called. Gobbles. in the air, press B again to double jump. Okay, my double jump doesn't give me any height. It gives me very little height. <laughs> okay. Let's see if there's anything else to buy in the shop. I can sell some fish, probably. I'm browsing for some fiber. Hey. An excellent salesperson always carries what the customer needs. So, my well-off patron, what can I do for you? Let's sell a bit. Damn, 75 bucks for a squid? 120! I'm only gonna sell fish if I have at least five of it. The double jump is probably for more horizontal movements, most likely, yeah. Because this doesn't seem like the traditional platformer. Like, the only platforming I've really done so far is on the actual ship. We can't escape the inflation. You know, I play games to escape reality, guys. <laughs> okay, I got 500 smackaroons. You don't got anything good. Let's get out of here. Okay, what mission am I doing? Find a passenger in Hummingbird. Oh. She didn't say that at all. 
Hmm. Oh, they're up here on the ladder. Yeah! I'm in. You made it. Wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. Well, you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs group. I'll show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. <laughs> Pressing A just makes a bow. <laughs> it's locked. My sister keeps asking me for money. How can I say no without saying no? Maybe I should ask someone to rob me. Hmm. I just don't want to loan my sister money. Mood? Oh. New friend? What? Oh. You gave me such a fright. That... Cat. He looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes, yes, it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean Stella. Is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at sea? You've come to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going, then. We have some lessons to go through. Oh, he just snapped out of here. <laughs> the robbing bit made you think of Adventure Time? I've never watched Adventure Time. But it does feel like the classic comedy sketch. <laughs> Oh wait, I can see somewhere I can dive in the water. Not saying that I would pull that hijinks on my sister, but last week my sister was like, hey, can you give me a hundred bucks? And I'm like, not really. And I still did. I should have just spent that hundred bucks before she asked me <laughs> to loan her it. Ooh, citrine. Adventure Time was just past my time. Because I didn't have cable growing up, so the only time I could watch cable TV was when I would go to my neighbor's or my friend's house. <laughs> so. And I think Adventure Time was airing when I was like 13, so kind of like the age when watching cartoons was like not cool anymore. I do feel like it has shifted. I feel like watching cartoons is kind of is more acceptable now. But I think that's because, like, Gen Z is a bit older now. Like, oh, I think my favorite on Cartoon Network had to be Total Drama Island. I loved it so much. Because it was so much like Survivor. It's too dark to navigate. Let's talk to this guy again. Let's see who he is. Over here, little one. Oh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I can feel quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. Oh, there's a snake. Oh, getting out of that chrysalis, what a feeling. Thank you, Stella. I love how they all move. 
such good character design. Oh. Hi, Totoro. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Now, about that garden. Oh, Stella, don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it could use some greenery. And an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It'll be called Caring for Plants from A to Zalia. Hmm, yeah, it doesn't ring as good once said out loud. Maybe I need to work on the name some more. A new request, nature class. Build a garden. Okay. Hmm, peace I too? Hmm. The garden, I need lightning in a bottle. Now, how does one get lightning in a bottle? Okay, Summer asked me if I could add a garden to the boat. She wants to use it as a classroom to teach me about gardening. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be. Okay, so first, resources, and then we'll go to the exclamation point of the map. But for now, I shall sleep. Total Drama Island Season 1 was peak. The other seasons, I feel like, went off the rails a little bit. Because the thing with most reality TV is you like... I feel you like the people more than the premise of the show. Like, you have to fall in love with the characters, or the actual people, that are being broadcast. Honeybee, this is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. You have the Everlight, it'll protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparkles when they're about to hit, so rush toward those. Oh, I almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you'll get a lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world! Lightnings and bottles are a pretty handy resource, so come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry, they're plenty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. Nice. Now, I just stand here and wait to get struck. Hit me! Oh, oh! Hit me! <laughs> okay, this is this is cool. <laughs> oh, he's. He's jamming on the flute like Lizzo. <laughs> oh, you get money too when you get struck. Okay, kids, do not try this at home. <laughs> character went down the ladder. Yeah, there's 
I do think that these characters in game are still 3D models, but their design and their movements are very similar to traditional 2D animation. And you, they're so much more expressive. I love the visuals in this game so far. How long is this storm gonna be? Thank goodness! I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush! You look pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could have ever hoped for. Of course, uncle. Now that I have lightning in a bottle, I think I can build the garden. Damn, I got 22. Holy... You know what else I can do? I can run an ad. Because everybody, we are three hours in a stream. I did it for you. We're three hours in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99. Just $5. Just kidding. It is September. So that means all new tier ones are up to 25% off, guys, all month long. So if you've been waiting to subscribe, now is the time to do so. You can also see if you have a Prime sub available by linking Amazon Prime to your Twitch. You can subscribe to any channel you want for free. Wow. So guys, click subscribe, see if there's an offer or a prime sub available. Um, after the ad, we'll play for like a little bit more. A teeny bit more. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Also, if you know, follow. You get cool emotes for free. So to get these barnacles, you have to press A as you fall down. What do you do in this game? You are essentially the kind Grim Reaper, and you're bringing lost souls to the afterworld. But you get to learn a bit about them as you go. There we go. All the barnacles are off my ship. some jellies on the way. Yeah, this game is also available on the Switch. People have been requesting it for a while and I finally have gotten to it. little garden you really outdid yourself Stella well then that makes us just about ready to start on the first lesson make sure there's some seeds in these plots they'll be important yes sir oh that's where the vegetable seeds are I was wondering why I couldn't plant them in the field Another storm's a brewing. Jellyfish, here they come again. Hmm, I don't feel great. Okay, she's gonna say the same shit every time. I know, just stay inside. You don't gotta come out. It's fine. I, I know I can see 
the purple winds. Oh my god, finally. Okay, she literally did not go inside. <laughs> She's truly facing her fears. at all. <laughs> Seems we have braced the jellyfish once again. Sprout. Jeez, you gotta love the sights here. The sun, the sea, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship. With you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Vive could see you now. Running your own ship. Helping out these stranded souls. It really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. Oh, I should probably feed everybody. Oh boy! I just love food! Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. Let's see now. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you've probably noticed already. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. For, you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. They seem truer now than ever. Back on my island, when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. As I expected, they grew much vigorously. Through trial and error, I managed to write a little song. The plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden, garden and try playing that piece to your crops. Hold X to play the guitar. Oh. Rhythm game? Quite incredible. Let's go on. Oh, I can stop at any point. Oh. I was gonna be like, that's a very long song. Quite incredible. 
Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the world about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music, too. They might help if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion in the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. This strange coin has been tick tickling me since I've arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. We got one oval. Nice. Well, I'm gonna water my crops and then talk to her. Stella, you did good. Now we've got a real boat going. And you'll have to take care of these new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. Okay, it dropped. I'll reread the dialogue. Before I read it, I'm gonna double check audio, verify it's still synced. Welcome back, yo. That was an obvious issue. Thankfully, not internet related. But well, welcome back, wi wheelbarrow or wheel, wheel. Whenever I see wicked, I think of the emote. It's like wicked. <laughs> Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. New blueprint acquired. Gwen's Lodge. Ooh. Oh, I- okay, I don't have to do the rhythm game for the garden. Cause not gonna lie, I do not like rhythm games. They're a bit too hard for my little brain. Or actually, I have a big brain. Yeah, I think for the nickname, it's an extension. And I debated whether or not I wanted to enable it. But... Oh, the reason why I didn't enable it is because... Um, we do calligraphy, and I like to write people's usernames, not their nicknames. I think that's why I chose to not enable it. Um, we do calligraphy for the Oilers and then Brokies if you use your channel points. Oh, wi oh Wheel. I keep on seeing Wicked verse. Wheel, can I ask how you found my channel? Like, did you find me on Twitch or a different platform? Since you've been able to hang out for a little bit today. I have to tell you something. Stella. I didn't want to disturb you with this, but for the last several weeks, I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake and of menacing reefs and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much cleaner. I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm not convinced my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming to our mutual acquaintance. I have been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes kept being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Okay, so now that we have a new destination to go to, I think we can pause here for now. And we'll pick this up next time. So, guys. I think this will be our new weekly story game. Okay, I can save the game. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't know if it was checkpoint or manual save. So I think this will become our new weekly slot. Um, plan for weekly streams here, here, 
Mario Kart, this game, so the story game, Spirit Fair, and then random, and then maybe work, 9 to 5 sim stream every week. I really like this game so far. Visuals, I really enjoy. I really like how they combine the 3D and 2D renders. It looks so much like a cartoon. I love it. The characters themselves are so expressive. I like being able to do voices. It's always fun to do voices. Okay, it says I'm back. Am I back? Guys, am I back? See, this time it's L-O-B-S. O-B-S, stinky. <laughs> You've been following me on TikTok for a while and saw a post and you're like, I'm not following you on Twitch? Follow me on fucking Twitch, but thank you for coming over. Thank you. A lot, I think like 75%.